aka GK Franklin. Call me Glenda, please. My <laughs> ever problematic hair. <coughs> what would you do if I went a day without complaining about my hair? <laughs> oh, I realize it is becoming a habit. Well, anyway. That's about as far as I've got today on what I want to do. <laughs> I gave it all yesterday. <laughs> I am just so, my brain is scattered in the wind today. It's like, oh, you know, I, being bipolar, I am, I'm very well controlled on my meds, believe me. But, it's like, I'm always afraid on the days that I'm really up and in a great mood because a lot of people are just in a great mood, you're not happy. I'm always afraid that somebody's going to say, oh my gosh, she's manic. Because I confessed I'm bipolar, so people start seeing things for what they're not, you know. <laughs> no, I do get depressed. I do still have a problem with that, but my bipolar is leans more toward the depressive side. But I tell you what, I've had very few really bad depressed days, if any, since starting, since getting involved with you guys on here. And you think I do things for you, and it's like, oh, uh, you keep me involved, engaged. In the now, I'm not, you know, if I talk memories at all, they're worth sharing type things, you know, instead of sitting here and, because a lot of times when you get in a depression, you're not in the now. You're, you're in some regret about some other time in your life. Yeah, and that doesn't do you any good. There's nothing you can do to change it, you know? So, I mean, sure, there's things a person can be sorry they ever did or thought or said. But, you know, I mean, there's such a thing as remorse. But being constantly depressed over guilt, no. Nah. So you guys have kept me happy kepper. But no, I'm not manic. <laughs> I'm just happy. I'm happy about the stories yesterday. I'm happy about what you guys have had to say about the stories yesterday. And um, I'm happy that Carla can't figure out what the hee-haw was all about because she never used to watch the show. And I'm telling on her. <laughs> she might just slay me. But... No, I. it is a country bumpkin show. I'm a country bumpkin, and I know she was too, but anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I think, you know, she just, people, you know, it's not, yeah, I mean, there's, people have different things, and I just thought our whole generation, generations, were addicted to that show, but um, kids now, you tell them, Hee-haw! You know, they wouldn't have any idea what you were talking about. What are you doing trying to sound like a donkey? <laughs> because that's what they did on the show. <laughs> anyway, I have no idea what I'm talking about. None whatsoever. Anywho, if I'm in any kind of a high today, it's a caffeine one. <clears throat> but no, mostly, I am just happy. It's just a happy day. I was blue earlier because I was tired. Of, well, I was hearing thunder. It was so dark in here. That's another thing. It cleared It cleared off. So, uh, the shine, sun has come out. And so...
my husband came home and asked me to contact his brother and wish him a happy birthday and his wife and and ask how they were doing with the flooding and I wasn't sure really what he was talking about. I don't listen to the news much. I do I mean I knew it was his brother's birthday. Um they live down near the Table Rock Lake, I believe it's called, in Missouri. And it, the flooding is just tremendous. Um, there's been a lot of loss. I did some checking um, online, and there are places where it's 10 feet above flood stage, and it one article said that over the past several days that there's been like 20 deaths. Homes have been washed out. Um, now, our, thank goodness uh, his brother and and, um, and his wife are safely high enough. But she said that roads and bridges are out all over the place. And I saw some footage online and... I tell you, it just breaks your heart. So we need to um, remember people in those areas and realize that there's a lot of trauma there right now. Um, I really don't know how else to put it. But um, I don't know if any of you have family or friends in the area. It stretches, uh, from what I understand, from Illinois down through Arkansas. Texas has had, uh, had a tornado. I don't know exactly where all the deaths have occurred. I'm of the impression that most of them are, are in that area of the Ozarks. I'm not sure. The town of Pocahontas, Arkansas is partially evacuated. And some of this news is, you know, just, it seems like it's one of those things that hits the news and then as it continues, it just kind of, I don't know why the news hasn't kept up on it. Of course, like I said, I haven't kept up with the news. But I would have thought I'd have seen it, you know, on Facebook or somewhere. So, um, it's sad. And, um, there's a lot of li a loss of property and people's livelihoods and stuff. So, let's just all keep them in our thoughts and prayers and, and, uh, I really don't know what else to say for tonight. Um, I <laughs> fell asleep, so I'm going to just start uploading late, but, um, anyway, so, it's just one of those things, you don't know about it, and when you do, it kind of hits you like a brick, because it, it, it's just so huge, and I had no idea. That's what <laughs> I always say. The news will come to me if I'm, I'm yeah, because I get tired of all of the the backbiting and the, the the posturing on the news and stuff. And then so I just I just quit watching, and then this stuff happens. So it's like, what do you do? <laughs> I mean, you keep up with things. You know, I, I, like I said, I just, I was floored because I hadn't seen much of anything about it, you know, in my list on Facebook of people who were commenting or, or uploading thing, you know, um, stuff. I just, <laughs> it, I'm just boggled. Anyway, um, I just want anybody to involved with that. Um, either a victim or a responder or 
someone who has a family member there, just know that I care. And I know that everybody here on this, on this, um, all of the subscribers and followers um, here, they also care because they're caring people. So let's just keep that in our minds and in our prayers. Uh, and if you have any more information about it, please let, please let us know. And um, I'm going to say good night. And hasta mañana.